Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am back with one more Apex Trigger scenario. I would like to thank one of my subscribers for sharing this scenario which he faced in his interview for Infosys. Guys, if you have any scenario that you would like me to cover, feel free to leave a comment. I will definitely create a video on it. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. First we will understand the data model. So in this scenario, we are going to use two objects, case and contact. On case object, we have a field supplied email which is of email type and on contact object we have an email field so this is the data model now let's understand the scenario so in today's scenario whenever a case is created with a value in supplied email field then we need to check that if the same email is present in the email field of any of the contact record then we need to connect that contact to that case else if the contact with same email is not present then we need to create a new contact record with same supplied email field value and after that we need to connect it to case. Let me explain it again. Let's say a user creates a case with supplied email. Let's say abc at the rate xyz.com. Now if a contact record with same email is present in database then that contact should get linked to case. And if there is no contact record present with same email then a new contact record should get created with same email value in email field and after that that contact should get linked to that case. So this is the scenario. Now it's time to code. So let's go to VS code and create a handler class. Let's name it trigger handler. Let's create a method C. Our code should execute when a case gets created. That's why we will pass list of case as parameter in our method. So let's pass it let's say new case list and in this list we will pass trigger.new from a trigger so this list is basically equals to trigger.new now before we start our code let's discuss the approach so that you will have an idea in your mind that okay we are doing this because of this reason see we need to find contacts based on supplied email field value of case so in first step, we will store the supplied email in a set, which then will be used to find the contacts. After that, if there is a contact present, then we will store the contact details in a map because we need to link contact to case. And we will store email in key so that we will be able to get contact details by passing email in get method of the map. After that, by applying some checks on that map, we will link contact to case or create a new contact and then link it to the case accordingly. So this is the approach that we are going to follow. Now copy its name, paste it here and apply a null check on it. Let's iterate over it. Apply a null check on supplied email field like this. And let's create a set to store supplied email. Let's say case emails. Copy its name, paste it here. And add supplied email in it. So whenever user creates a case with some value in supplied email then that value will get stored in this set copy its name and let's apply a null check on this set to ensure that our code will be executed only if this set contains a value now using this set we will find the contacts like this select id email from contact where email is in this set and we will store contact details in a map so let's create a map first we will store email in key 
and contact in value. Copy its name, paste it here. Dot put phone email and con. See, we are storing email in key of this map so that we can easily fetch contact by passing supplied email value in get method for this map and then we'll be able to link it with case. Now let's iterate over this list again. And here we will apply another check that if in this map supplied email value is present or not like this if contact map dot contains key cs dot supplied email so if this condition will get true then it means that there is a contact record present with same email so if a contact is present then we will simply link it to case. For that, let's fetch the contact records using this map like this. Existing contact. Contact map dot get. Paste it here. And simply link it to case. Else, if the contact is not present, then we have to create a new contact with same email. So let's create a new contact. Yes, contact. Provide the email value. And we will not perform the email inside for loop. For that, let's create a list. New list contact. Copy its name. Paste it here. And here, apply another check on it. And finally insert it. Guys, now the problem is that we cannot perform DML inside for loop, but we have to link case to the contact. So now what we will do, we will create another map like this. In which we will store email in key and contact ID in value for both existing contact and new contact email to contact id map basically we will use this map to link contact to case whether it is existing contact or newly created contact so copy its name and here add the contact details in it This is for existing contact and for new contact we will store it here. Okay, I did a mistake here. We need to add the contact email. Let's iterate over this list again. And now using email present in this map, 
we will link contact to case like this. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. So we have our handler class ready. Let's create our trigger. Our trigger will be on case with before insert event. We are using before insert because here we need to update the same object which will trigger the code. Let's apply a check like this. This is to ensure that our handler code will be executed only for before insert event. Copy our handler class code, paste it here, trg method, and we will pass trigger.new in parameter. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. We have our code ready. It's time to see it in action. So let's go to our org. In our org, let's first check that whether we have a contact record with some email or not. Okay, let's create a new contact. Let's say test con that one. Here is the email field and let's provide an email. Save it. Now let's go to case and provide a value in supplied email. Let's save it. So a trigger is working fine because this case gets linked to this contact which has the same email as the supplied email. Now what we'll do, we will create a new case with a value in supplied email field for which no contact record is present. So let's ninja at the rate sfdc.com click on save. Now here as you can see that our new contact has been created with same email which means our code is working fine. So that's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.